everyone, it's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this week's video just a quick little um, sh heart to show you here. Um, it's made out of a few little rows here, there's actually two rounds but this one is done around both sides of the cr chain that we do to start off with. Um, great little heart for, used for decorations, um, little hanging decorations or sewing onto um, clothes, so you could put that on a pocket that would look great. Or you could use it as a part of a gift tag to go on a present for someone, you know, Christmas, birthdays, all sorts of things. And absolutely no reason why you couldn't make two of these together and then you could um, put some soft toy stuffing in and then just sew or crochet around the edge just to make a little 3D heart. It's a great little project and great for beginners and just is a little fun little project to make. So I will get on and show you how I made this Okay, heart. so we're going to start off our heart with 14 chains. And to work the the heart we're going to work into the, the loops that we would normally work into when working a chain and then we're going to work around it and come back and work into the back loops of the chain so to start off with we'll be working into these loops which is normal where we'd have the two little stitches on the top there but when we get round to the other side we're just going to be picking up the back of that stitch and just working into that if I can get the camera to focus into that loop there so we're going to into the fifth chain from the hook, so that's one, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do a treble. So I'm British and I call that a treble, but you might know that as a double crochet. It's the same stitch, but we call them slightly different names depending on where you learn to crochet. Okay, so now we're going to continue to work trebles into the next three stitches, the next three chains. So that's one. two, three and into the next chain we're now going to work five trebles so you might want to hold on to the, the following stitch just with your thumb just to make sure that you don't lose that stitch because this one's going to get wide where it gets filled up with um, trebles so you might just want to pinch it or put a stitch marker in so you don't lose that um, that's that chain there but um, now we're going to do five trebles into that next chain along okay so there we go five into that one and then we're going to work one treble into the next four chains along so, one, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to have one chain left, and into that one chain, so I'll just show you there, we've got our V of our heart. And into that last chain, we're going to work seven trebles, okay? And that's going to bring us back round to start working into these the back part of the chain here okay and then we're going to work one treble into the next two stitches so working into those back loops there, you'll see there is the bottom of the chain. So you might want to just use the, the hook part just to hook down and then get your hook into that stitch. So it's a little bit fiddly if you've not done it before. But you should be able to see well, that's where you put the hook in, into that part there. So use your tip of your hook if you like just to get that in there. That makes it easier. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we've crossed the next five treb uh, stitches, that's one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do one treble together. So it's going to be five trebles, but we do them as together. So there's only going to be one little stitch at the top. So we're going to join them all together essentially. So you just start off the, the treble as, if you, as you normally would. So put your hook down into that stitch there, grab the yarn. 
then pull the yarn through the first two loops and then you stop so you leave that last loop on the hook and you're going to leave all of the next ones on and you just finish them all off at the end so I'll just start the next one so I'll be going into that stitch there okay grab the yarn pull it through the first two loops and stop okay so there's the stitch that we didn't finish there's the next treble that we didn't finish and there's the next treble that we didn't finish and we're going to do that again to the next one along so put it through the first two loops and then stop okay and then we're going to do that one two more times so into that one grab the yarn grab the yarn put it through the first two loops and stop and then one more grab the yarn Put it through the first two loops and stop. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five trebles, which were the next five trebles along that we haven't finished off. And there's the loop from that stitch that we did finish there. And you can put the yarn over the hook and you're going to pull it through all of those loops on the hook like that. So make sure you pull it up nice and tight. And then that brings up that, you know, to make that heart shape there. Okay, so now we're going to do one treble into the next two stitches, just just normal, like so. That's one, two. Okay, so so now what we need to do is repeat what we did on this side. Although we did seven into that end chain on this side, and we've already got one chain into that um, that rounded off part because that was our first treble that we did at the beginning, which was the three chains that replaces the treble. So into that bottom of those three chains there, we're going to work six trebles. Remember on this side we did seven. We only need to do six on this side because we've already got one that starts off that, or finishes off if rather. So that's one, two, three, four, five, Okay, so now we're just going to do a slip stitch into that third chain and that finishes off our first row. So now on to round two and we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to do one treble into the next six stitches along. So that's one, one two, three, four. Five, six. Okay. And into that next stitch along, we're going to do two trebles, a chain, a treble, a chain, and then two trebles. So we're essentially doing like the five trebles that we did on this first round, but in between the middle one, we're doing a chain. So let me show you. So the next stitch along, we're doing one two chains, one um, trebles, one chain and one treble, one chain and then two trebles into that same space. Let me just show you there. Two chain, two trebles, I keep calling them chains, two trebles, a chain, a treble, a chain and then two trebles all into that same stitch there. And then we're going to continue that row by doing one treble into the next seven st uh, stitches along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've made that point there. And then into the next five stitches, we're going to do two trebles. Okay, so there's one and then into the same space do a second one and then into the next so we continue that in the next four stitches so there's one and then two trebles into the second stitch along two trebles into the third stitch along two trebles into the fourth one along And then two trebles into that fifth one along, and then that brings us nicely round that, cor uh, that corner. 
of the heart and then we're going to do one treble into the next stitch along so just one on its own okay and then same as we did on this row here where we did one treble into the next five and join them together we're going to do exactly the same so start the stitch off grab the yarn put it through the first two loops and wait start the next stitch put it full through the first two loops and wait and then into that next one along and hold that until it's until we've got the fifth one done so this is the fourth one put it through the first two loops and wait and then one more time start the stitch off put it through the first two loops and wait and then again we're going to put the yarn over and put it through all of those stitches together make sure you pull them nice and firmly together and then we're going to continue by doing one treble into the next stitch along just like that, it's one on its own and then we're going to do two trebles into the next five stitches so that's, that's one the second one along we're going to do two trebles the third one along we're going to do two trebles fourth one two trebles and then the last one we're doing two trebles into that one and then we're going to do a slip stitch into that third chain that we did to represent our first treble and there we go that is our heart completed so I've just fastened off my yarn there and I'm just gonna pull that end through they're nice and tight and there we go there's a nice little heart that we can put on a Christmas tree decoration or hanging any hanging decoration or you could make it as a label tag for somebody um, you know when you can wrap it around a present and make a nice little tag you could make two and then put some stuffing in the middle and crochet the edges together which would be a bit like the other heart video I've done and I'll put a playlist to all of the heart videos that I've <laughs> made I think I've made a couple now I think <laughs> anyway but you could um, definitely make two and sew them together to make a nice little padded heart so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up if you um, have any questions or comments please put them in the comments box down below and I'll try and get to the you as soon as possible do check out my description box underneath this video there's lots of helpful links to places where you can find me on Instagram and Facebook if you haven't joined my Facebook page why not go and say hello to me on there show me what you've been making and if you haven't already why not hit that subscribe button and you'll get notifications as to when I release a new video so I will see you in my next video and I hope you enjoyed this one thanks for watching bye